Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Niche Warrior Bats. So we're here with our little bat star who is the current leader of the clan that is over in this area and out to the outskirts over here. However, we do have a new clan brewing. Originally we had Puddle Star over here who passed his reign to Falcon Star who has started out his own little clan over here with his mate Light Kit and some of the other niche things like Rabbit Kit and Little Paw and his daughter Gem Kit. And we also have uh, Red Paw and her little family, Gold Leech Paw, or not Gold Leech, um, who is your mate? We have, did your mate pass away? Oh no, your mate is over here, Little Paw and their baby Mossy Kit have kind of joined their new clan over here. And we have Batstar kind of investigating, seeing what's going on, trying to figure out what are they doing. And he would probably want to clear out some more of this area over here. And then Minnow Paw has been busy collecting the different bugs that she can find, but maybe she'll help Batstar kind of clear out this area over here. And then, let's see, we do have Father Paw, who is with Child, with this friendly Burina, who is about to pass away soon. <gasps> that is so sad. Who is the father of lovely Dapple Kit and Meadow Kit right over here. So, unfortunately, I think he's going to pass away soon and just leave one more baby uh, with Father Paw. So, let's go ahead and move Father Paw over here a little bit to get a little bit closer to her babies and maybe attack some of these rabbles that she can find. And then Gem Kit, I think, would be very interested in this termite mound and want to, like, smack at that a little bit to get some delicious bugs with Coral Kit. And then I do need a purr-snouted Nicheling to come down here to go ahead and do a purr uh, to poor little Feather Paw who's been taking some damage. So we'll have River Kit come down here to do a healing purr. And then Dapple Kit, you can go ahead and move right over there, right next to your mom. And then little Wolf Nut, you are bleeding. We need to go ahead and lick your wounds. So let's go ahead and have Marsh Paw do that. And then you can go ahead and continue collecting up some of your delicious nuts. There we go. And then Log Paw, uh, let's go ahead and have you collect these toxic berries. Because you've been doing a good job doing that and collecting food. And then we'll have Marsh Paw do a healing purr and collect right there. And then we'll have Gold Kit also collect up some here and do a little healing purr too. And then Red Paw, why don't we have you pop out of the nest and collect some of these berries? And then Gold Leech Paw, let's go ahead and have you collect right here too. There we go, because we really need to get more food in our tribe. Like, we really, really need to. And who is taking damage that does not have the healing? It looks like everybody has healing over here. So let's go ahead and have Meadow Kit collect right there, too. There we go. And then we'll have little Rabbit Kit come over here and do her healing purr to help out Meadow Kit. And then Little Paw. <laughs> little Paw, you're so cute. Let's go ahead and have you collect. Ooh, you're taking some damage, though. We're taking bunch of damage but I think we're kind of desperate for food at the moment so I think little paw would continue to collect and then gem kit let's go ahead and have you just stay where you are I think for now and then falcon star is going to pass away soon in four days so I think he'd be pretty anxious of his mate having her baby so let's go ahead and move him over here and then let us have Light Kit collect up some stuff over here and move into the nest. And then we'll go ahead and move Gem Kit right over here just so she doesn't get sick. But Little Paw make is sick, but Little Paw is like passing away soon. Oh no, poor thing. Oh, let's go ahead and bat at that cactus plant really quick. All right. And then we do have some moves over here. Dodo Mingo Kit, you're still just a little baby. You can't really do anything right now. So I think we'll just have you stay there. And then we'll have Log Paw collect over there and then yeah we'll just have you stay and I think we'll see what the next turn brings and what next little baby 
will Light Kit and Falcon Star have? For their clan, way over here. And let me go ahead and double check the mutations. Yes, I did set it to have different di types of paws. So we can try to go ahead and get rid of that little paw that they seem to keep getting, this little deformed paw. But let's go ahead and see what type of baby precious little light star is going to have. And oh my goodness! <gasps> Look at that! Prickle! <laughs> Prickle was born right next to this prickly berry bush. Oh my goodness. You are so adorable. You have black fur. Um, yeah, I thought you were melanistic at first, but no, you just have black fur, which is so cool to see. Awesome. Welcome, little Prickle Kit. Welcome to this clan over here that is being run by your father, Falcon Star, who I think, let's see, you have A and B. A and A, E and B. I think that Light Kit would be very interested in having another baby, even though Falcon Star is about to pass away, and I think Falcon Star would be okay with that too. So let's go ahead and have another baby and hit this bunny. And Light Kit, uh, actually, let's go ahead and have Little Paw, who's oh, unfortunately gonna pass away soon. Uh, but you can go ahead and collect that food for now. And then, oh no, Gem Kit. Ooh, you are just a little baby all by yourself. Uh, Red Paw, let us have you run over here for now just to go ahead and protect this baby because we need to be careful and not leave our babies unattended to. And let's go ahead and have you and unfortunately you're going to take some damage pretty soon. Let's have Meadow Kit come over here and do a healing purr and collect up here. And then Mossy Kit, let's have you move up this way. And then Goleach Paw, you are having babies with wolf nut and you had a wonderful little Dodomingo kit who i think can actually help her father yes help her father collect these nuts over here so that will be nice uh to have so there we go so let us go ahead and move gold each paw let's see over here let's move marsh kit a little bit maybe right here to collect these berries and some toxic berries and then Goleach Paw will move you over here to have some more nut babies. Because <laughs> you're nuts. <laughs> and we'll have her collect some of these toxic berries as well. And then let's go ahead and have Gold Kit move here really quick. And get a healing purr from Log Paw. And then have him come back over here. Did one of our babies die? Or was that just a rapple? I hope that wasn't one of our babies. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so scary. Uh, let's go ahead and collect those and collect these berries. There we go. And then we'll have to think about who we want to have the toxic body mutation added in. Uh, Meadow Kit. Let's see, let's go ahead and move River Kit right here to do a purr. And then move you right here to do babysitting duty for Meadow Kit right there. <gasps> no! Your mate has passed away, Father Paw! Oh no, his remains are right over there, and I think she'd be very sad. But she would also be very hungry. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's go ahead and collect that food. That's so sad. Oh my goodness. And let's go ahead and have a Gem Kit. Uh, let's see. Oh, is there no more bugs there? Oh no. Let's just go ahead and have you collect up some of the different plants around here. There you go. And then do we have any more moves? Yes, Bat Star has some moves right now. So I think Bat Star, let's see, I want to kind of clear out some more of this land. Oh, let's see, there's a bunch of food over there. And let's see, what do we have here? There's another Dodo Mingo right there. There's a bunch of berry bushes. I think that Bat Star sees a bunch of meat over there. And even though it's clearly part of Falcon Star um, and Little Paw and the rest of the co, it's clearly their land. I think that Bat Star would want to come over here and just like steal their food and be like, that's mine. This is my island. <laughs> this belongs to me. And then he could, like, fly away. 
<laughs> fly away back over here. Oh my gosh, I love that ability. That is so cool. And then I'm thinking, let's see, Batstar is H and A. I think we decided that Meadowkit would be a good mate for him um, once she grows up and is no longer just a little baby nicheling. But I guess Batstar will wait until then to have children of his own, unless we can find another female nicheling wandering around here that we think would be a good mate. And let's go ahead and collect this prickly right there. And there is a little rogue male. Oh no, wait. Oh, metal kit. No. Oh no. Let's go ahead and move light kit. Let's see. What can we do here? Rabbit kit. Let's go ahead and have you kind of like protect meadow kit for now. <laughs> In Light Kit, why don't you come over here and like protect her on this side? So right now Meadow Kit's safe. Oh, actually, oh, I want Light Kit to have another baby. Oh, did they not make a baby? I think I tried to make a baby, but they didn't make a baby? Or was that Prickle Kit? I'm so confused. Um, ooh, Falcon Star is gonna pass away soon, so we'll have to keep that in mind too. And then anything that I can do with you, Gem Kit, no, you're still just too little, you're too little. And then Dapple Kit, ooh, we need to move you closer to adults. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful with that. And Gem Kit, there's nothing else that we want you to do. And then do we have any babies? No, not yet. But we do have a very heavily pregnant Featherpaw who is taking damage, but it does have the healing now. Um, but I think we'll have her have your baby very soon. So let's go ahead and go to the next day. And we have a bunch of sicknesses happening. Um, but let's go ahead and move Dapple Kit out of the nest right there so that Featherpaw can pop in the nest and then collect up some of these toxic berries for her family. And let's go ahead and move Dapple Kit to right over here for now. There we go. And then River Kit. You were kind of like on babysitting duty, but it looks like uh, the babies grew up. Let's go ahead and have you come over here and attack this little bunny. There you go. And then still no bugs left in there. I think Coral and a uh, little gem kit over here would be kind of like bored of this area and be like, oh, bunnies. And they'd go and start collecting food over there. And then let's see, bears. Oh, somebody passed away over here. Did somebody pass away? Oh no, did that bear attack? Did that bear, when bears attack. Oh my goodness, let's go ahead and move Light Kit over here to be next, oh gosh, Rogue Male. Um, let's see, Red Paw. Ooh, let's go ahead and move you away from that Rogue Male for now. Oh, is there another Rogue Male? Oh my gosh, so many Rogue Males. <gasps> No. Um We could have Batstar like swoop in and save the day even though this isn't part of his clan. But I think we'll have him do that for now. And I uh, don't really want to take him take the toxic berries. Uh but he can kind of stay there for now and then we have Meadow Kit too. We need to keep an eye on you. Make sure that you don't get pregnant at all. Uh, let's go ahead and move you down here to collect some of this. And then I see you, Rogue Males. I see you, Gem Kit. Why don't you go ahead and stand there and take a whack at them? <laughs> and then at Prickle Kit, you can go ahead and pop out of the nest over there. And then we'll have Falcon Star, who's about to pass away, uh, try again for a baby. And then Light Kit can kind of come in the nest here. And we can pop over there, pop over here. And then, ooh, there's a bunny right there. Um, but it doesn't look like we'll be able to get it for now. Uh, we can try. No, he wasn't successful with that one. And then Meadow Kit, let's have you collect up some of the stuff that's over here. Along with Rabbit Kit, there we go. And then Minnow Paw. Uh, I want you to have some healing, I think. So let's go ahead and move you over here for now. And then you can get the healing purr from Gold Kit right there. So there you go. And we'll collect up some of these. Toxic berries for days! And then Logpaw, you're getting really old. We'll have you collect these berries there. 
maybe attempt a snack at that, and then Gleech Paw, I think we'll have you pop over here and attempt to have another baby. And then Wolf Nut, you can go ahead. Oh, you have damage. We need to go ahead and lick your wounds. And then Dodo Mingo Kit, you can go ahead and hit that tree so that we can collect some more nuts. And let's go ahead and move you over here for now. And I think we are out of moves. We do have Minopaw who has one more move left. Let's go ahead and collect some of these berries and then we are out for now. So we do have two babies that are going to be born in the next turn from Light Kit and Goleech Paw. And then it looks like Falcon Star might be passing away soon. And leaving behind Gem Kit, Prickle Kit, Light Kit, and their unborn child all alone in this area along with the other nichelings who decided to follow this clan. So I wonder if, I think Light Kit would want to take over this clan for now. So we'll have Light Kit become Light Star once Falcon Kit dies. And he still lives. He is still alive. Oh no, he's not alive. He's not alive anymore, but he, oh, look at this turkey. <laughs> He left behind Turkey. Oh my gosh. Hi, Turkey. <laughs> you have nimble fingers. Nice. But you also have your little deformed paw. Um, but Turkey, that's amazing. Oh, a little blind nicheling. Little Turkey. Oh my goodness. So Turkey Star, or not Turkey Star, but Sturkey Kit. Turkey Kit, welcome to the clan that your mother is going to inherit and become light star there we go a little light star there awesome and she is going to take on the role of leader of this clan over here so let's go ahead and collect the berries for now and move you over here and then gem kit uh there's that bear right there so i don't want to attack that little uh Rabble for now and red paw. Oh, you're gonna pass away soon. Aren't you? Oh, and you're a little blind niche you can't see anything. Oh my gosh. Um Let's see uh, Let's go ahead and move Meadow kit Over there. Let's go ahead and have rabbit kit do a healing purr and then meadow kit you can come over here and kind of help out Poor little red paw over here who is blind as a bat and help him out a little bit. Oh my gosh. And then Meadow Kit, let's go ahead and have you actually we should change your name. I don't think I've been changing the names of all the the nichelings when I should. So little meadow paw, I should say. Little meadow paw, let's go ahead and have you come over here and collect the berries. There we go. And then oh my gosh! Copper! <gasps> Copper! Oh my goodness gracious, look at what we have over here. A little nicheling born with sticky tongue. Oh my gosh, Copper, you are amazing. <laughs> Copper Kit, welcome to the Rose Clan. Oh my goodness, you are pretty cool looking. <laughs> look at you, you're so awesome. Oh my gosh, okay, so good job. Leech Paw and Wolf Nut for creating copper. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and shake that tree, collect these nuts and toxic berries. Let's go ahead and have Gold Leech or Gold Kit come over here and then do a healing purr. And Dodo Mingo Kit. Um, should we be concerned about these berinas? I think so. But I think we'll be okay. We do have this peaceful bear over there, which I'm pretty terrified of. Mm. But I think we'll be okay. We'll go ahead and collect up some of these toxic berries because we have to, because we're hungry, hungry hippos, and we need food. And let's see, let's go ahead and have you do a healing purr. And you can also do a healing purr. And then we'll collect up these berries and move over here. There we go. And then, oh, we had another baby, little badger. Hi, badger, who was also the descendant of a berina. And let's go ahead and change your name to Badger Kit. There you go. 
little one and let's check out and see yes you did have the berry and a claw and the snout and the hind legs in your recessive trait so that is very interesting and then little feather paw your mate has passed away which was that friendly marina um so let's go ahead and just have you collect the berries for now and then your children meadow kit would be very interested in collecting these bugs along with little dapple kit woohoo unfortunately did not inherit the bat snout so cannot attack these bugs but i think she would try really quick and then she'd realize oh i, I can't do that and then let's go ahead and have you collect the different foliage around here and then Gem Kit, I think, would be very excited about the bugs returning. And let's go ahead and change her name to Gem Paw for now. There we go, little Gem Paw, welcome. And Coral Kit, let's have you collect up some of these grasses that are around this area. And I don't think, well, we do have Bat Star. Yes, Bat Star can do more moves. I think Bat Star would be very interested to see what is happening back over in his clan over here. And then attempt to collect some berries, but he won't be able to. And then Rabbit Kit. You can go ahead and collect some of these, my friend. And then, ooh. We have another rogue male who's wandering about. Did he... <gasps> Did he get Red Paw pregnant? I think Red Paw might be pregnant from the rogue male. <laughs> but I think Red Paw is going to pass away soon, so I don't even know if she'll have her baby. Oh, no. Poor thing. Alright, let's go ahead and see what happens. And a bunch of sickness. Oh, she didn't even get to have her baby. That's so sad. That is so, so sad. Alright, we have a bunch of nichelings who are sick and who are poisoned with the toxic berries, but it seems to be helping out a lot. Even if they're getting poisoned because we are getting tons and tons of food for them. Um, and without collecting these toxic berries, I think that we would be... Oh gosh, no. Oh, Metapaw's gonna have... No. 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 I think Lightstar would come over here and be like, get out of here. Oh no, but unfortunately... Oh no, but he did get her pregnant. Oh no. I think Lightstar would be very, very upset with these turn of events. Oh, and she left her babies unattended. Oh no. Okay, so Rabbit Cat... Why don't you collect the berries here and then come over here to do a little bit of babysitting? And do... We'll have Light Star. Hmm. You're gonna get Rabbit Kit sick, probably, but we'll have you come over here and get a healing purr. And then Gem Kit, why don't you come over here on this side to kind of protect your mom from this rogue male? that is lurking about impregnating our little nichelings oh my goodness and then copper kit you're so cute did you kill one of my nichelings barina i don't know i don't want you to hurt copper kit though Ooh, this barina oh the baby grew up oh my gosh do we do we need to be concerned now we might need to be concerned now um let's have gold kit come over here Get a healing purr and start attacking the Sparina. Oh, there we go. Tons and tons of food for days. Uh, let's go ahead and collect that. And then this Sparina is probably going to be very upset. So let's go ahead and start attacking uh, with our other nichelings uh, right over here. There we go. And then Copper Kit. Uh, I don't think you want any of that. So we'll just have you pop out of the nest for now. And then Minnow Paw. Collect your berries! Collect all the berries all the time! And we don't want to collect that because that will hurt us. Um, maybe move over here to collect some of these berries. And then Wolf Nut, you're nuts, but we love you. Let's go ahead and have you look the wounds and collect some nuts and shake your tree. And then it doesn't look like there's any more bugs over here. Ooh, are you mad, Defender Bear? Are you mad at River Kit for, like, killing those rabbles? I think the bear might be mad at River Kit. <laughs> um, all right, let's go ahead and move Badger Kit. I want to move you out of the nest for now, and then we'll have Featherpaw collect up some of these berries and attempt to go ahead and do some digging. And then no more bugs over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and move you out this way a little bit. And then Gempaw, 
Let's go ahead and move you out here too. There we go. And River Kit, you might be in trouble, my friend. You might be in trouble. I think a Defender Bear might be chasing you. <laughs> um, all right, and then Dapple Kit, let's go ahead and have you move out this way a little bit. And then Coral Kit, you go ahead and follow suit. Try to collect some nuts, but you are not successful in doing so. And then Bat Star, I think would be thinking a lot about having Kits have his own. And I think his potential mate, Meadow Kit, is a teenager now, so she is getting a little bit older. So he is getting a little bit excited to start having some kits, so we'll have to wait and see what type of babies Bat Star will have. Let's go ahead and have him kind of wander out this way and start clearing up a little bit of this area over here. And is this a rogue male? It is a rogue male! Rogue male! No roguing. No roguing, rogue male. Um, turkey kit. Let's see, you are sick, but you do have the healing per snout going on, so you should be okay for a minute. Our poor little blind nichelings, they're so cute though. I love them, they're adorable. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. And I wonder what type of baby Metapot is going to have with her rogue child. Hmm. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what the next day is going to bring for us. I'm curious to see what's going to happen with this Barina. So let's go ahead and keep an eye on that. And... Uh, he did pass away though. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go ahead and clock the food. Uh, we'll need to do some purr snouts for days. Everybody purr. Everybody lick the wounds. And we'll do some purrs here. Alright, this healing purr is pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Um, we do get a lot of benefits from having that. So let's go ahead and collect right here. Continue on collecting your nuts. And I wonder if... Little... Gold Leech Paw would think about having another baby with Wolf Nut because they've been making some wonderful little collector babies. Um, Nichelings who are going to be really good at collecting the food for us. So we'll go ahead and get her pregnant again. And then Coral Kit is now an adult. So we can go ahead and change her name to Coral Paw. Welcome to adulthood, little one. And then Gem Paw is an adult. And then meadow kit eight days i think at 10 days 10 or 11 days she becomes an adult and then we can start having babies uh with with bat star so i'm really excited to see what type of babies those two will have little baby bat prince and princesses oh that's gonna be so exciting and then feather paw you are trying to collect up some food over here and then let's go ahead and have devil kit collect up some of these grasses along with Meadow Kit over on this end and then Gem Paw. Go ahead and have you collect stuff over here. And Coral Paw. See River Kit? Ooh, you did get attacked by this Defender Bear. Alright, so we'll have to keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and have you collect a berry there. Pop over here and get your wounds licked on. Coral Paw. Let's see. Let's go ahead and give you a healing purr. And then Coral Paw. Let's go ahead and have you come over here and collect some of these toxic berries. And then Bat Star. Let's go ahead and have you continue uh, investigating the area out this way and see. And then, oh no, another Barina. <laughs> There's so many Barinas. Oh my goodness. Okay, right, so Meadow Paw, you are pregnant. And I guess we'll let you have your baby with the rogue. So let's go ahead and move you over here and move this grass, collect the prickly fruit. And then let's see, what is Light Star's life looking like? We got nine days left. And then Rabbit Kit, you're sickly. Um. Let's see, does anyone have healing purr over here? Not over here, only meadow paw, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, so let's go ahead and move her out this way and she can collect some of the foliage over there. And then light kit, let's go ahead and have you, oh gosh. <laughs> I think light kit would be like, 
trying to defend her clan over here and try to fight that Bayrena. And I think a little gem kit would follow. Even though she's just so young, um, would definitely follow and try to do so too. And then Prickle Kit would try to, but wouldn't be able to get close. Oh, actually, he would be right there. I guess I'll move there and see what he can do in the next turn. So I think what we'll do, let's see, let's have Minopaw collect the toxic berries right here. And then for a little Metapaw, I think we'll play around with her genetics a little bit since she is having a rogue child and I kind of want to have some useful babies. I think we're going to put toxic body in her mutation menu to see if we can potentially get any toxic body nichelings. I think that would be very helpful for us. And then we'll probably want a different type of paw too. Uh, maybe we'll put in claw to see what we get. All right, look at her holding her little pregnant belly. Oh my gosh. I wonder what type of little baby we're going to have. And then badger, you can't really do anything we'll move you there and then feather paw you have one move we'll move you there for now and then copper kit oh my gosh copper kit i love you i love you little one you're so cool looking let's go ahead and move you over there for now all right so let's go ahead and see what type of baby meadow paw is going to have over here oh my gosh and then what's going to happen with this barina over here is poor little gem kit and prickle kit just gonna get like like eaten up, like really fast i don't even know all right so we have another derp snouted little baby freckle oh hi freckle who is healthy h and k who does have a derp snout and a deformed palm but does have nipple fingers and purr snout in the recessive trait so that is good to know and then it looks like this barina over here did uh, passed away, so I think Lightstar would be pretty excited about that. And collect all of this food, and we do need some healing, so let's go ahead and have Rabbit Kit come over here and do a healing purr for everybody and collect some of this. And then it is rainy season now, so there are some berries that are regrowing, so that is pretty exciting. We don't have to eat a bunch of these toxic berries at the moment. Uh, so very nice welcome little freckle kit to the clan that is being led by a light star over here and let's see how it is little meadow kit is nine days old so she is getting a little bit older so once she's an adult uh meadow kit and bat star will start having babies of their own so i'm very excited to see what will happen with that um, but I hope you guys are enjoying the Warrior Bat series that I'm doing here on my channel. If you would like to, please go ahead and toss a like to go ahead and feed some little berries to Meadow Kit. And I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue on our adventures. Bye!